Hey guys, welcome to the third episode of Sports Talk. I'm joined by my good friend, Barry Lewis. And Barry, we slept on Washington yesterday. They narrowly squeaked one out, 3-0. That was disappointing. (laughs) (laughs) Very disappointing. And we both... We both picked wrong on the Philly hockey game as well. Yeah, I bro, yesterday I squeaked out an even six and six, and I'm very disappointed that we were gonna have a better show today. Hockey is where I'm gonna poke up and catch up on. I went one for one on hockey and six and four in basketball, so I'm 100% okay with that. But let's jump right into it, shall we? Here we go. Well, the first hockey game tonight. We have Dallas taking on Columbus, with Dallas being a one-point favorite. Who are you taking? Oh, man. Dallas handled Columbus in their last meeting. Yes. Yes, I, they did. I really, I really think that Line a wants to catch fire in Columbus just because of how that Dubois trade came about. So I really want him to light up today. So I'm going to take Columbus. Um, I think I think you're onto something there. I think Laney is going to be playing with a bit of a chip on his shoulder. But I'm... I'm going to take Dallas. I think they just have too much firepower. So I'm taking Dallas on that one. Second game of the night, we have Nashville taking on Florida with, surprisingly, Florida being a one-point favorite. That is surprising. But honestly, Florida has kind of been my dark horse team to come out of the East and make the playoffs. Okay. Because I like their young core. I really don't think Nashville has line for line the same firepower as Florida. So I'm going to go Florida on that, surprisingly, but I'll take Florida. Is Pecorine playing, or is he? Right now, on courtesy of Sportsnet, UC Soros is now confirmed as the starter. Okay, I'm going to take Florida on that one as well, then, if that's the case. Because <laughs> of Bobrovsky. Um, exactly, exactly. <laughs> you go a brick wall on one side and a stellar goalie on the other. It's going to be tough. Third game of the night, we have the Capitals from Washington taking on the New York Rangers with Washington being a one-point favorite. Ovechkin is a beast. Um, He's been lighting it up. Maybe not as much as he used to, but he's been lighting it up. I'm going to take Washington on this one um, personally, but what are your thoughts? I love the Rangers and what they're doing. They're another young team that I really, really like. I am obsessed with Alexi Lafreniere ever since that World Junior performance. And then it doesn't really equate to how good they're going to do, but those Rangers reverse retro jerseys they're wearing today are gross. <laughs> so I, I want an Alexi Lafreniere reverse retro. So I'm going to go for the Rangers just because of their young core. I know Ovenskin is going to light up wherever he plays, but Lafreniere, Mika Zibanejad, I, I like the Rangers. So, next game is Montreal taking on Ottawa with Montreal being a one-point favorite. And what's surprising about that to me is Montreal is only a one-point favorite. Winnipeg got, or not Winnipeg, sorry, but Montreal has been dominating. dominating. And and Ottawa has been smacked around by Edmonton, who in my opinion, as much as I'm an Oilers fan and I bleed, I bleed copper, um... Montreal's just a better team right now, man. So if, if you can't stand up against Edmonton, you're going to have one hell of a time against Montreal. Oh, so I'm going to take put, Montreal. Mon- I'm putting Montreal in like the top three teams in the league right now. They are playing yeah. unreal. That is nuts to me. It, it looks like Carey Price has been reborn from like, what, 2011? He was a Vesna finalist. And he just yeah. comes back and looks insane now. And then, again with Montreal, they're just too deep. Ottawa's got a line and a half. Montreal has three that can just go out and score at Will's end. So, yeah, Montreal, easy favorite. I don't know how they're not more higher favorite than that. Yeah, that's crazy to me. Next up, we have Toronto taking on Vancouver with Toronto being a one-point favorite. Now, I know the firepower that they have, but I feel like their goaltending's been a tad shaky sometimes. Um, But I'm, I'm curious to hear your thoughts. They have been shaky, and they they're really missing Joe Thornton. You can just see it. There's just a hole there now. I don't know if it's the veteran leadership that he brings, or just the presence he has on the ice with being that, again being a vet. But man, they have been in a kind of tailspin the past couple of games. I 
Also, Vancouver has as well. So that one's a tough one for me. I feel like this one's really going to come down to who is going to play the more solid defensive game. I honestly think Toronto can. But Elias Pettersson, Bo Horvat, they have been getting knocked because they haven't been producing that much. I'm going to take Vancouver. You're taking Vancouver? I'm going to take Vancouver. I saw that play last night where Elias Peterson had a puck and no one was really coming after him, and he just sniped it. Um, And that made me an Elias Peterson believer. But like you said, he's been playing a little bit shaky. They've been knocked just a little bit. So I think I think I'm gonna go with Toronto on this one begrudgingly, because I am not at all a Maple Leafs fan. Oh, well, it's it's hard for me not to be. I like, <laughs> hate the Leafs to my core, but then I love like Mitch Marner and Austin Matthews. Just watching them play hockey is just so enjoyable. And it's like yeah. I'm watching the Leafs. Gross, but this was great. And it's like, man. Afterwards, we have Carolina taking on Chicago with Carolina being a two-point favorite. I think that one's a pretty, pretty easy to agree on. I'm going to go with Carolina on that one. Chicago has not been playing well at all. Carolina has been playing really hot. Carolina has been playing unreal. James Reimer is 4-0 as a starter with a 2.19 goals against average. That's crazy. crazy. (laughs) That's nuts. 2.19? Yeah, Carolina's the easy one on that. Easy. So just for just for reference on that, Reimer has a 2.19, and Carey Price has a 2.77. Wow. <laughs> That's nuts. That is nuts. Oh, but God. Carey, Carey is playing in the, in the Canadian division that has probably the weakest defensive core of any division, but mm-hmm. still, that's nuts for James Reimer. Insane. Um, afterwards, we have Arizona taking on St. Louis with St. Louis being a one-point favorite, and I'm tired of betting against St. Louis. So oh, I'm man. taking St. Louis in this one. Man, I'm tired of betting against the Blues too, but I gotta make ground on you, and I really believe in Clayton Keller being a number one blind player. I'm gonna go Coyotes. Wow, okay. Interesting, interesting. Last game of the night in hockey, we have the Flames taking on Winnipeg for what seems to be the ninth time in a row, um, <laughs> with Winnipeg winning nearly all of those games. And I, I feel like, I feel like they're going to be able to grind one out again. Um, this last game, Calgary was a lot closer, a lot more competitive. It was a close, close game. Um, but Winnipeg edged it out. I just feel like Winnipeg, they don't have... I feel like Calgary has more firepower, but Winnipeg has more, you know, perennial dog. Um, yeah. So, you know, I find that scrappy and good defense wins the games where it matters most. So I'm going to go with Winnipeg on this one. I'm going to go with Winnipeg as well. I believe Calgary can make run at the playoffs. They're just such, they're just such a good deep forward group. But honestly, with all the talk about Sam Bennett being traded and just outside the locker room stuff, that really affects teams more than people think. So I'm going to go with the Jets in this one. Awesome. So now we're going to shift our focus on to basketball. The first game of the night comes from Utah, where the Jazz take on Atlanta, with the Jazz being a five-point favorite. I'm going to take the Jazz on this one. How? Because Donovan Mitchell cannot be rolled out, and oh, man. Atlanta has a very questionable defense. I bet against Donovan Mitchell, and it bit me in the heels. So I'm going to go with the Jazz as well. Watch, this is going to be the one time we bet on the Jazz and they we lose. bet, and then Trey just goes off for like 30, and we lose. So come on. <laughs> uh, second game is Golden State taking on Dallas, with Dallas being a three-and-a-half point favorite. You, you look shocked on that one. Man, I like the three-and-a-half-point favorite. I'm just terrified of what that would be if Luka was playing Unreal. Like, if he was playing MVP level like last year, would they be, like, what, an eight-point favorite now? I'm mm-hmm. going to take the Mavs. But, wow, that's, that's a low. That's a low favorite for me. But I'll take the Mavs. I'm taking Dallas as well. Third game of the night, Philadelphia taking on Portland with Philadelphia being a nine-point favorite. Now, I think I think Philadelphia is starting to get it figured out. Like I said yesterday, I think Embiid is still soft. 
but Tobias Harris is crazy. They Phoenix has a decent amount of depth coming off the bench. They can get scoring in different positions. So I I like Philly in this game. I don't know about the nine point favorite. That seems heavy, but I'm taking Philly on this one. Yeah, that, that does seem really heavy. And I did doubt the Sixers yesterday, and I don't think I can do them bad again. But I know Dame Lillard's an all-star. But like you said, the Sixers just have so much coming off the bench. Yeah, the Sixers got to be my pick today. Okay. Second last game is Houston taking on Memphis, with Memphis being a one-point favorite. And... Yeah, I'm just not too sure what to make of the of the Rockets. When I bet for the Rockets, they get wrecked. When I bet against <laughs> the Rockets, they squeeze one out. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure where I'm going to go with this. But I'm, I'm curious on what you think. I don't... Man. That seems to be how the trend is going with me and you and the Rockets. But I'm not going to bet against John Morant and the Grizz. They are just... I find their offense is so dynamic around John Morant that they can just overpower a defense. And the Rockets D is sus. They're not when they're good, they're good, but when they're not, they're very not. So I'm yeah. gonna go with the Grizz. I'm tired of losing when I pick against Houston, so I'm just gonna take Houston on this one. It's gonna be a close game. I think they got the spread right on that one. It's gonna be you know, it's gonna be a one possession game I think, but I'm taking Houston on this one. Right. And then the last game of the night, Nikolai Jokic's uh, Denver Nuggets take on LeBron James and the Lakers. Repeat of last year's playoffs, man. Yeah. That's... And and the Joker's oh, been man. on fire lately. I, yes. I think he's very quickly cementing himself as the best center in the league. Uh, maybe not defensively, but both ways, I think he is. Um. And I think up until about last week, he was averaging a triple double or something like that. So he's nuts. But like, like we saw in the playoffs last year, I think the only person that can stop Jokic is Anthony Davis. And when him and LeBron are hot, there's not a team in the league that can match up with the Lakers when both of those guys are going. Even if they have both going at half and Kuzma hits some big shots, the Lakers are just a dominant team. Mm-hmm. Personally, I'm I'm gonna root for the underdog on this one. I think uh, Denver has scrap. Uh, I'm I'm gonna be wrong on this one, but I'm gonna I'm gonna take Denver. I mean, I can and, see I can see Denver pulling it out. To be and, honest, that, that that was a coin flip for me, but I think the Lake got it this year. I I think I think the Denver Nuggets are gonna are gonna squeeze one out. Jamal Murray has a lot of that Jimmy Butler gene in him, I think. He does, um, yes. And he, you know, they're they're getting good at around the right time. There's still a long way to go, obviously, but I'm gonna take Denver on this one. Sounds like you're taking the Lakers. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Lakers. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, guys, for tuning in once again. Again, if you enjoy it, please comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And we'll see you again tomorrow.